surgical journey for a patient is when they come to the clinic here, when they're checked in, when they're seen by a nurse, when they see me, when they're seen by the advanced practice physiotherapist, when they come to the hospital for their pre-op visit and see another nurse, um, and a care team to have their blood work drawn. And all those people are very supportive of the program. They, they say, oh, you're having hip surgery, you know, it's, it's a, fantastic you can go home in a day yep. um, when Every, you come everyone. to the pre-op area and you're seen by a nurse and the anesthetist like everyone's sort of excited for you and excited for you to be here um, and patients are always telling me how they felt so welcomed and and supported by the staff here and how friendly they were and I think that often in these dark days of healthcare, we lose the empathy when we deal with people and I think if you can keep that it makes the patient journey so much better. In medical school at the University of Western Ontario, I think um, people tend to gravitate towards either surgical or non-surgical specialties. Like, you know, do you like working with your hands? Do you see a degree of technical, you know, are you inspired by that kind of, of work? Um, and so I, I liked the idea of surgery. I liked the idea of, you know, fine motor skills and stuff like that. I liked the idea of, uh, being able to have a bit of a different day um, every day, not just sort of sitting in an office and seeing people. And then when I was exposed to different surgeries, I mean, orthopedic surgery is, you know, it's really a privilege. It's, it's something where the, the two main types of patients that I operate on, people that break their bones that need to be fixed, and people that have arthritis that need hip and knee replacements, in general, were very thankful, and you could see the impact you made in their lives. I mean, you take somebody that's broken a hip and can't walk, and you're able to do surgery and allow that person to walk again, uh, is it, is very gratifying to know that your work has an impact. That in Toronto, uh, in our region, we were the first hospital to start it, but since then, uh, there's a number of hospitals that uh, offer the same surgery. I think, in fact, most hospitals now in the GTA have at least one surgeon that's either doing or learning anterior hip replacement, except for one or two hospitals. So um, it's definitely spread um, to the fact that now we, I've organized a group called uh, the Toronto Anterior Hip Group, and we meet every three or four months to discuss the learning of this procedure, uh, difficulties that people have had during their learning curve, and share insights uh, in a sort of informal manner just amongst surgeons. So that's what helped foster sort of a network of people uh, sort of interested in the procedure, um, sharing ideas how to pressure their administration to help support them uh, as they learn a new technique. Uh, as they look for tables, etc. So I think that at least right now, there's been a huge explosion of anterior hip surgeons in, in Toronto and in Canada in general.